What's up everybody, Tiankam here with Soya Quilting. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you make this three colored coin quilt. Let's get started. So first things first, let's dive right on into the cutting instructions. As you can see in front of me, I've already pre-cut my strips here. These are just two and a half inch strips by width of fabric, and we need 10 of each color. So we need 10 two and a half inch strips by width of fabrics cut. The very next thing that we need to do is start laying this out. So I'm gonna take my two greens like this, I'm gonna add one white in the middle. This right here will make up my first set of blocks. And my second set of blocks, I wanna do with this purple and this white. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my strips here, put them right sides together, sew a quarter inch seam all the way down and then iron them out. So I wanna unfold these. I'm gonna pull them up so everyone can see. Lining them up, and I'm gonna take these over to the sewing machine and sew. So now that I have my first part sewn, I'm gonna lay this back down on my cutting mat, and I'm going to attach my other side. So I'm gonna just lay this down, I'm gonna bring this up so everyone can see what I'm doing. Line up my edges here, all the way down. And I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and again, sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. Now I'm gonna take this over to my ironing board and iron down all of my seams. And I'm always gonna iron these to the dark side, so let me just do that real quick. That's the music that needs to play in the background. Now I have this one sewn, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps to my other block, and we'll be right back. Now that we've sewn our strip sets together, our next step is to subcut these down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna move it aside, I'm gonna work on this green one first. And I'm gonna lay this down on my cutting mat just like so, and I'm gonna make sure it's straight on my cutting mat. From there, I'm gonna grab my rotary cutter here. I wanna trim off one edge to make sure I start with a really, really clean edge. So I'm gonna trim off this left side here. Sorry, this is not quite in the camera, but I'm just gonna trim it off, that way I know that I am square on this one side. Now that I know that I have cut my left side and it's completely square, I'm going to subcut this down into six and a half inch blocks. So I'm gonna move my, ro my ruler over and I'm going to cut my six and a half inch block, which should look just like this. I'm gonna continue doing this process to cut my entire strip set completely down into six and a half inch blocks. And I'm gonna repeat that process for my purple one as well. So I'm gonna take this, which six and a half plus six and a half is 13. So I'm gonna cut my 13 on my 13 line of my mat. So now that I've subcut all my blocks down to six and a half inches by six and a half inches, it's time to look at our quilt example here. As you can tell, all of our orange here is horizontal and all of our um, green here is vertical. We need to make that same decision here. So what I'd like to do on this quilt, I wanna make all my green pieces um, vertical and all my purple pieces horizontal just like this. So I'm gonna put these in order just like that and I'm going to start sewing them together. So I'm gonna take my green piece here and my um, purple piece here. I'm gonna lay them right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. So let me slide these out of the way. So I'm gonna iron this now open, or sorry, I'm gonna iron this to the dark side or the green side, just like that. So we're going to keep attaching our blocks together until we have seven across. I've got some that I've already pre-sewn together right here. And I'm gonna just show you how you connect this row. So I've got a partial row here and I got my two blocks here. And we're just gonna keep doing the same thing. We're gonna put them right sides together. We're gonna sew a quarter inch seam. And this is what our finished row is looking like. I'm gonna make a couple more of these and we'll be right back. So I've attached my rows together. I just wanna show you how you attach them real quick. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna line these up, make sure everything lines up real good. And I'm gonna lay them down right on top of each other. I wanna make sure that all my seams line up with each other. I'm gonna grab some Wonder Clips here and I'm gonna clip them in place. So I just wanna double check, make sure everything's good. So 
So now I've pinned all the way down and I'm happy with how this is looking. I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and sew my quarter inch seam. So I just finished up ironing my quilt top and I love the way that this quilt is turning out. What I'm going to do to finish it off is I'm going to put two borders around it just like the quilt behind me and then I'm going to take it over to our in-house long armor to have it finished. If you've liked this video hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. As always, we're going to leave instructions on how to make this quilt in the description below. My name's Tiank, I'm teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Ya Quilting.